I'm lonely. I'm never good enough. Guys don't want to date me. I'm alone in the world. I hate my life. I don't know why I'm here. I'm no good at school. I'm never going to succeed at anything. What's wrong with me? God knows you. He knows everything there is to know about you. He created you. He knit you together. You are exactly what he wanted you to be. Hi. I am fearfully, 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 and wonderfully, and wonderfully, wonderfully, and wonderfully made. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Yeah. I want to be a ninja. All right, here we go. Say, this is my Bible. I am who it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Tonight I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My heart is receptive. My heart is receptive. I'll never be the same. I'll never be the same. I'm about to receive some really good stuff tonight. And if my neighbor tries to talk to me, I will slap them. Amen. You can be seated. All right. Are you guys ready to rock and roll tonight? Hey, guys, real quick, if you have not filled out one of these, these are, it, it looks like this is what our, our new little informa information card is going to look like. What we're going to do starting next week is we are going to have a, uh, some sheets, some sign-in sheets out there, and all you have to do is go in, tell them your name, and they're just going to check you off. If you're not in our computer, if you're not in our system, they're going to ask you to fill out one of these. It's really cool. See, it's next. Ooh, everybody say, ooh. Say, ah. Say, that Brian, one talented dude. All right, sweet. All right, so anyways, make sure these are the information cards. You'll see them every week. We're going to try to standardize this a little bit. That way, when I send out my really cool emails, telling you all about what's happening, what's going on. You guys will be informed. You guys will know what's happening. Speaking of that, tomorrow night, any Orange Park fans in here? Any, any Fleming Island fans in here? Any fans, any fans of an Xbox and a 50-inch plasma in the back of a car? And, and free hot dogs? Anybody that just wants to scream because they haven't had a chance to scream yet. Tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, Fleming Island High School. It is the big game, and it's actually going to be on, um, it's going to be on TV. What channel? What, what channel? Somebody tell me what channel. Channel, channel 4. It's going to be on channel 4. So uh, come show up. I'm going to go in early. I'm going to talk to the cable guys to try to get in on their good side, and maybe we can get our little tailgate on TV. So that would be kind of cool, all right? And every time you see one of the cameras, I want you wearing your Journey Next stuff and your Journey Next bracelets, and you just flash them. So, so with the bracelets. So whenever you walk by the camera, just do this. Or if you've got the shirt, just do this. All right? All right? All right, I think I will. All right, let me get you guys to come up and start handing these out. Hey, guys, I want everybody to take one of these cards. I'll explain them here in a little bit. And we've got some pins there, too. If you have a pin or it, we don't have a lot of pins, so try to share between, like, three of you. Hold on to them. Don't mark on the seats. If your neighbor falls asleep, don't mark on their face. No, go ahead. If they fall asleep, mark on their face. Mark all you want to, okay? All right. Now, guys, we are finishing up tonight. Our Me Interrupted series. How many guys have enjoyed what, we, what we've done over the past few weeks? Yeah, been pretty good? Sweet? Guys, what have we started? I, I forgot last week, but how have we started out every message? Awkward family photos? Anybody want to see four more awkward family photos tonight? All right, let's throw the first one up there. Okay. The caption for this is, I don't want to see the next picture taken. All right, because this guy up here in the front, he's about to lose it. Um, okay, so there we go. I, I, I know. I know. That's uh, It doesn't look like anybody's having fun on that ride at all. Okay, next one. <laughs> Me. 
Merry Christmas. All right, next one. And the next one. Hang on, she's working on it. We've got to see the last two. All right, I'm going to keep talking while they're doing that. Hey, guys, um, another thing that I, that I wanted to mention to you is how many of you guys saw the Xbox with Guitar Hero back there? Yeah, yeah, right, right. Now, how many of you say, you know, I'm really not an Xbox fan. I'm more of a Nintendo Wii type of person. Anybody? No? All the 13-year-old girls say, yay. Okay. Guys, we, um, next week we're going to have both of them going. Um, so we'll have, we'll have the Ninten Nintendo Wii right there where the uh, Xbox is, and the Xbox is going to be on this big TV hanging up on the wall right back in the back corner. And uh, hopefully next week our basketball goal will be in. So if any of you guys are like me and you like to just do the, you know, like play the hoops, all that kind of stuff, outside we're going to have a basketball goal. We're going to have that going every week, all right? And then hopefully in a, in a few weeks, and depending on how things go, we're going to try to get a couple computers back there so you guys can go on and do your little Facebook and your MySpace and tweet and, you know, Twitter Tweety and all that kind of stuff. So um, that sound good? Oh, and we are and we are expanding the cafe. So, and I'm not talking like construction-wise. I'm just talking we're going to offer more stuff. So um, we're going to offer like pizza. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. It's back. All right. Um, the caption for this one is, at least he was wearing a seatbelt. Okay, now, guys, I'm saving the best one for last. I wanted to save this one because this is the funniest, most awkward picture that we've had the entire series. So are you ready? Hold on to your seat. Hold on to your neighbor because... You are going to bust a gut on this one. Okay, real, ready? Count down with me. Three, two, one. The caption for this one is, yeah, we're cool. And Ashton, you can thank your parents for that one. Hey, um... One more thing before we, get, before we dig into the message is we have like three birthdays this week. Um, Jessica, girl, stand up for me. Kayla, where you at, girl? Stand up. And uh, Shavante, Shavante, back in the back. Those are just the three that I know of. Guys, we've got a giant cupcake back there, okay? So we want you after service is over to go get some cupcake. It's actually just a cake, but it looks like a giant cupcake, all right? So make sure you do that, because if not, I'm going to go home, and I don't need to get any fatter than I am. I will take it home with me, okay? All right, you guys can sit down. Happy birthday. We're going to try to do something like this, like once a month, where we recognize all the birthdays and have you guys stand up. So anybody who's had a birthday besides those three in the month of November, stand up. In the month of November, if you've had a birthday or are having a birthday, aww. Sweet, sweet. All right, you guys can be seated. All right, guys, like I said, we are, wrapping up to, we are wrapping up our series called Me Interrupted this week. Next week, it's going to be worship and communion. And uh, I, I don't think you've ever done it the way that we're going to do it next week, so you don't want to miss. Uh, next week's going to be awesome. And uh, didn't the band do a great job tonight? Yeah? I don't know about you, but that keyboard player, she was hot. I'm just saying. All right. Hey, guys. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, if you've got your Bibles or your iPhones or whatever, chapter 5, verses 14 through 17, this is the verse we're going to be targeting mostly tonight. We've got a few of them, but this is the one I want to start off with. And this is what it says. It says, our firm decision is to work from this focus center. One man died for everyone. That puts everyone in the same boat. He included everyone in his death so that everyone could also be included in his life, a resurrection life, a far better life than people ever lived on their own. All right, yeah, let's put that back on. Because of this decision, we don't evaluate people by what they have or how they look. We looked at the Messiah that way once and got it all wrong, as you know. We certainly don't look at him that way anymore. Now we look inside, and what we see is that anyone united with the Messiah gets a fresh start, is created new. Say created new. The old life is gone, a new life burgeons. 
All right? That's, that's, a, that's a tough word. I, I want to say begins. A new life begins. That's a little easier. That's a little more Oklahoma. All right? Guys, guys, this is what we've covered for these past few weeks. Look, I know some of you come in here, and because of the things you deal with at school, because of the things you deal with at home, some of you feel ugly. Some of you feel like a failure. Some of you feel like your life has no meaning, like your life has no worth. And I have been trying to tell you over the past few weeks, and I'm hoping that it's begun to set in, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Fearfully and wonderfully made. How many of you guys were here last week when we talked about space and all that cool stuff? Does anybody know the equation? Somebody know it? Raise your hand if you know it. You know it? Oh, two? The equation is two? 31 million times 5.89 trillion. Okay? That's how th- that last constellation or that last um, galaxy that we looked at, that's how far away that is. And the Bible says that the heights of the heavens shows us how much God loves us and NASA, nobody even knows how far the universe goes. Nobody knows how far the heavens go. That's how much God loves you. We don't even know how much God loves you because we don't have a telescope or anything big enough to tell us how big the heavens are. Okay? Can I tell you that tonight we worship a really, really big God? I mean, just a really, really... How many of you guys have ever seen that show uh, uh, where they, like, make, like, supersized stuff? It's like a construction show on, like, Discovery or something. And they make, like, a 20-foot popcorn popper and... You know, I mean, like all this crazy stuff. Okay, they can't, they can't make a copy of God that's going to be really big for God because God's really big. All right? Let me put it this way. How many of you guys have ever seen like a 69 Lincoln Continental? A 69 Lincoln Continental, that's a very big car with a very big trunk. God's bigger than that, okay? He's bigger than that. I had a friend in high school, and they drove a 69 Lincoln Continental, and it was like a boat. And whenever you turned, the front end actually lifted up. And turn like this. And my friend would turn the lights off and drive on the other side of the road at night. And it was very scary. I, bad memories. Don't want to go there. Guys, we serve a really, really big God. And can I tell you that you are not a failure. You are not ugly. And your life does have meaning. Your life does have purpose. Jeremiah 29, 11, And it's not on the screens, but most of us know this. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to give you a hope and plans to give you a future. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. All right? Now, guys, this is the Word of God. Okay? And after the, after the start of next year, one of the things that we're going to do is we're actually going to do a series on just the Bible. Now, how many of you, how many of you guys know how many books are in the Bible? 66, okay? Do you guys know the time span that the Bible was written in? 2,000 years. Do you know how many people contributed to writing the Bible? Over 40. From all different walks of life. Do you know how many themes there are in the Bible? One. Trick question. There's one theme in the Bible. It's God's salvation plan for man. The first two chapters tell the original plan. Then after that, it's basically man screwing up and trying to get back to that original plan. Okay? And God stepping in and saying, no, this is, this is still the plan, but this is how we're going to do it. So here after the first year, guys, if you've ever wanted to know why can I trust the Bible, why can I believe the Bible, and, you know. I mean, I don't know about you, but every time somebody comes up here and gets saved, and, you know, I don't know if it was like this for you, but, you know, it's like, um, well, okay, now what do I do? Well, you need to read the Bible. Well, why? Well, because the Bible is God's word. Well, how do I know that? Well, um, okay, well, you don't need to drink, and you don't need to smoke, and you don't need to cuss, and you don't need to go with girls that chew tobacco and um, anything like that. Um, okay, well, why? Well, because the Bible says it. Why? 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 